so there's a little behind the scenes for you. Um, that's sort of to make up for the quality of this video, because you'll see it's crap. Basically, Rachel was in hospital while I was filming this and I was talking to her on FaceTime and the camera's completely out of shot where I'm sort of half paying attention, so I'm just going to try and explain the best I can. So to begin, I'm applying my usual paint stick on half of my face and then blending that out with my booty blender. As per usual, nothing special just yet, and you can see this bit, which is lovely. And then I'm taking the Mayron Paradise paint in white, and I'm applying that to the other half of my face. Now later on, this doesn't go exactly half and half, but you'll see sort of what happens, and I'll explain it along the way. So just keep building that colour up until you get a really nice opaque coverage. And then I'm powdering that down really, really thoroughly, obviously, because this is a water-based paint, it will move around if you're sweating and things like that, so make sure you set it really, really well. If you are going to wear it out, set it with an alcohol-based setting spray. Then I'm going in with my Paradise Paint in Black, and in my previous tutorial, I explained why I use this as my eyeliner now, and it's because I use so much eyeliner. And just like my Queen of Greed, I'm pretty much doing exactly the same shape, where I cover my eyelid in the eyeliner and sweep it up to sort of where my eyebrow ends. And once again I was using my trying the new eyebrow covering technique and they do crack later on in this video as well so keep an eye out for that so don't read me to filth because I am quite aware then taking your black face paint once again I'm gonna start to sketch out where I want the mask to sit now I'm going all the way down at the center of my face and then I'm gonna align it around the sides as well and blend the black up into my hairline as sort of the negative space you can't really see this, but I'm actually lining out my bottom triangle on the bottom half of my eye with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Red Rum Liquid Lipstick. These are really, really good for basing out your eyes for drag makeup. I love using liquid lipsticks as eyeshadow bases now. I use them all the time. So line that as big as you want, or do your clown design. I went with sort of Harlequin, Harlequin colours, but I just wanted to make the video a bit more my own as there's so many Harlequin tutorials and I'm sick of it. And then I'm taking Peacock, which is the blue velveteen by Lime Crime, and I'm going to be applying that on my top eye as the top triangle. So I've got the Harlequin colours, but I'm making it my own, rather than just doing a straight up Harlequin tutorial like all these other basic bitches on YouTube at the moment. Sorry about it. Then again, I'm joining my crease at the base of my eyebrow just like I did in the Queen of Greed, so the eyeliner is pretty much essentially the same as Queen of Greed, so if you've watched that video, you can see it a little bit better. I will link it in the video somewhere. Now I'm going in with Poison Plum Shadow by Sugar Pill, and I'm going to apply that and really pack it on quite heavily. I wanted to do my eyeshadow work before I applied the glitter, because what I've found is I'll apply the glitter and then I'll take a lot of it off when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So I'm going in with that first. Then I'm taking a bit of black out and sweeping that right at the base of where the crease line is and blending that up into the purple. It's more of a gradient effect. And then to blend all that out, I'm using Sugar Pills Dolly Pop and only a tiny bit of this just to make the transition even lighter from the deep purple poison plum colour and that's going to sweep out to nothing. If you need to, or you've got more intense skin tone than what I have, you can use Sugar Pills Taco to blend that out even further. But I didn't need to this time because it seemed to blend really nicely. As you can see, my eyebrows are starting to give up. I think it's time to call, put this method to bed and say no and never use it again because it really didn't work very well at all. Now I'm using an eyelash adhesive for my glitter glue. Again, I used this in a previous video as well. It's just my preferred method. Work in smaller sections so you don't end up with just glitter everywhere. Um, yeah, and then just pack your glitter on. I'm using Max 3D Silver because I love the showgirl look of it. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful glitter. Um, I wanted this eye to be a really showgirly side. Then I'm taking After Party by Sugar Pill and I'm just going to intensify that blue triangle that I've got on the top of my eye. It didn't really need it, but I just wanted to make the colour a bit more diverse, and I did the same with Love Plus on the bottom. And then I'm going back in with my dark shadow, and I'm just going to start to sweep that along the sides of the clown's triangles and sweep them up and out, and then down and out as well, just to add a little bit more dimension to the look and add a bit more of a sort of grungy look to the mask, because I didn't want it to be too perfect, because it's of course a Halloween look. Then I'm just going to apply a little bit of liner, nothing wingy, I'll just literally line the top of my eyes quite thick, and then tight line and waterline as well. 
Now for the blush on the clown side, I'm taking Sugar Pills Dolly Pop eyeshadow and I'm literally just dotting that on my face. Um, I think I've got four circles on that side of the face all together as the blush and obviously you can vary the size of them like I did. I literally did that one just to sort of cover the nastiness of my eyebrow cover. <laughs> Hurry about it! Then I'm taking a mix of Havana and Java from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm doing quite an intense contour for me. Um, I'm contouring in all the normal places that I would normally contour on my normal skin colour side. Um, and I'm doing it really intensely because I wanted the look to obviously be showgirl and really intense. And then I'm baking underneath of that as well. Now I'm taking Lime Crime's Beat It Velveteen and I'm applying that to my lips. And I've lined with a MAC lip liner as well. You don't need to do this, I just sort of wanted to do it just so I could get the sort of shape that I wanted. And then I'm blending Dolly Pop, which is a sugar pill eyeshadow, into my contour just to warm that up a little bit more and make it a bit more blushy. You can go quite ham with that because obviously we're doing showgirl makeup on this side. Now I'm highlighting my underbrow area after sketching on a brow with Sugar Pills Tarko eyeshadow. I've not got any footage of me sharpening on my brows because God knows what I was doing, but I'm not in the shot whatsoever. And then, just to top it all off, my camera dies halfway through this video section bit, um, but it is the final bit, and I'm literally just applying some more black face paint and drawing in some cracks on the clown side of the mask. It's as easy as that. Another one of my really well-loved looks, which I'm really pleased to hear. Again, my nails are by Unicorns Poop Glitter and my wig is by Lush Wigs. Definitely check them out. The links to them will be in the description below. Give them some love. Let them know I sent you. And that's this video completed. Again, if you do recreate these looks, please hashtag Queens of Halloween and tag me on Instagram. My links are all below and I will see you very, very soon with a new video. Thank you for watching and stay spooky.